Hey, this is Bill Crocus from Hanson Industrial again. We're going to do a video off the video we just did about the four different types of chemical injectors. This one, we're going to talk about just the foamer. We've had a lot of people say, hey, Bill, let's do more about that foamer. That looks really cool. So I said, here we go. We're going to use the product. It's called Trailer Bright. Um, this is an alkaline cleaner, like we were talking before. We're going to clean painted surfaces and stainless steel. It's going to be metered in at 20 to 1, so it's its hottest point. So we have to do very, 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 if any, brushing when we do the wash. So before further ado, let's look at the piece of equipment we're washing, and then we'll get washing. Hey, we're going to wash my service truck. I have to apologize. I haven't had it clean for about 10 days. Normally, I clean it all the time. But we got a lot of bugs on there. We got a lot of uh, road grime. We have got a lot of uh, tar and asphalt in certain spots because of the wonderful Illinois roads uh, work that happens at the beginning of spring and all summer long. We're also going to go and any uh, any other debris that's on there from just dirt and debris from going into the different environments where we do work and do service work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect up the uh, pressure washer. I'm going to do a quick rinse and knock off the main stuff and then I'm going to do the foamer and then I'm going to go ahead and rinse it off and then spot free rinse. Okay. I just want to tell you guys before we get started, we're going to be using a pressure washer. It's a Landa SEA. It is basically a cold water pressure washer. It's four gallons a minute at 2,000. I'm just going to do a general wash of the vehicle, and then I'm going to use the foamer. So let's get going. As you can tell, just the general wash is not going to do a good enough job to go ahead and clean the unit. So now I'm going to have to attach the foamer and then we'll show the foamer how it works. All right, I got the foam on there. It's been sitting on there for about a minute or so. I'm letting the chemical grab all that debris and everything on there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off. Before I finish, just want to show you the difference of what it looks like to where it came from. You can just see that. I'm going to continue uh, rinsing off the vehicle and then I'm going to do a spot free rinse. We'll come right back to you. The spot free rinse is basically RO water and it allows you to get 95% spot free after you get done washing. It is the final rinse that you would actually get in a car wash if you were in a car wash, but you could do it yourself. And we sell spot free rinse systems. If you don't have a spot free rinse system, most of the time you've got to do a chamois to go ahead and uh, rinse off all the remaining hardness and TDS that's in water. The spot free rinse allows you to go ahead and not have to worry about that. It gives you 
spot free up to about 95%. Our water that produces here takes out about 98 to 99% of all the TDS. So the end result is pretty darn good. So we very rarely ever have to uh, dry or hand dry any of the vehicles. We do it, park it, and then it's done. Hey, so that's washing with our trailer bright and using the foamer at about 20 to 1. This is the end result, also with spot-free rinse. So it does a fabulous job with just cold water. Heat will actually do that even better and a little faster. So that's the difference between hot water and cold water, and I can show you that in future videos. So if you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, and we're glad that you had a chance to listen a little bit more about Hanson Industrial Peoria and what we do. And also, turn on post notifications for future videos.